Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I am coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. We've only got three more trucks to go, and, uh, well, frankly, I feel a little, um, concerned because I believe that when these trucks were put into the game, they were put into the game as more of a visual upgrade, uh, at least two of them. And, uh, less of a, uh, actual, uh, upgrade, because, as you'll see here, when we move to the Scania Streamline Normal, there's really very little difference between the two trucks. There's a bit of a cosmetic change here and there, and everything here is the same. The torque horsepower, you know, 360, 1850, 1000 to 1300, same transmission, same fuel. It just comes with side skirts, it looks a little cooler in red, uh, it's got a different visor, and I believe the interior is different. It's not a mechanical upgrade like the uh, Mercedes and the DAF Euro 6 is. So I'm hoping that when they tweak everything, uh, and they say they're going to put in more options for tuning trucks. That maybe they change some of the things like multi-reverse gear transmissions and whatnot. Um, because, uh, you know, when you... The Scania Streamline is kind of like the perfect example. You see, when the new Mercedes came out just recently Mercedes and all kinds of other people you know Mercedes fans and all kinds of other uh, fans who play the game flock to it DAF Euro 6 came out plenty of people flocked to it even when the Aveco Highway came out plenty of people uh, especially Aveco drivers you know flocked to it the Scania um, Streamline <coughs> excuse me is a little bit different when the Scania Streamline came out Scania drivers they kinda looked at it and went Eh. Because it's pretty much the same truck. You know? I believe that the interior is different. The mirrors uh, might be a little different. No, they look exactly the same. Um, you know, you get side skirts and little, you know, a few little changes here and there in the back, as you can see. But that's it. So. Considering how many mods and how many uh, changes there were out there for... Uh, you see the front's a little different here. You see there, it's a little different. Considering the mods and stuff that were already out for the Scania R, Scania Streamline drivers just like, well, why should we go with this truck when we can stick with our truck, have basically the same thing, and still have all our amazing mods rather than have to wait for people to put mods out for this one. So the Scania Streamline never really caught on. You know, it's kind of like the red-headed stepchild of trucks, I guess you could say. You know, it, it's just, it's there. It, it, it has mods for it now, it has some, some people uh, prefer it, like it. Uh, but for the most part, especially Scania uh, fans, they either go with a Scania R or they go with a modded-in Scania, you know. But uh, that's not what we're truly here about. What we're truly here about is to um, see how it compares. Now, interestingly enough, before I start here, <clears throat> um, because I've upped the graphical quality, uh, you know, turned up the resolution, not the resolution, but turned up the graphics in the game, um, the games that I, the, I were, was rendering at about a gigabyte to upload, <laughs> the last one, uh, clocked in at 2.5 gigabytes. Yeah, pretty damn huge. Um, so, I'm going to have to clock back again on, uh, resolution, uh, or, or, uh, uh, rendering quality but I still think it'll be okay because the game will still look better but it just won't have a rendering quality and what really sucks is is that if I if it's just the where I'm wired you know 
it's just where I live that that's the issue um, even if I went with Hawaiian in uh, Hawaiian telecom rather than sandwich Isles communication Hawaiian telecom is the big phone company here they took over from uh, Verizon uh, even if I did that and they have uh, you know if I had two thousand dollars I could get like a thousand or two thousand megs down and a hundred megs up um, it wouldn't matter because I'm wired copper here and not fiber optic so I can't get that speed uh, it you know what I get is basically it so be that as it may I just gotta live with what I have and you know it, it's kinda difficult being held back like that when you wanna do some more but you're limited in what you can do I've often thought about paying off uh, my cable uh, whatever I owe the cable company and going back to Time Warner for because uh, I can get the higher speed through Time Warner but eh when you're only paying twelve dollars a month for your phone and your internet you live with some sacrifices I suppose but anyways enough of that we're here about the truck not about my first world problems alright as we saw earlier outside the truck basically the same thing like I said the difference is you get the side skirt and the rear wheel covers, uh, the, the rear uh, fenders are different. And the front's a little different. You have these uh, road focused lights here in the front, uh, and you don't have the handles to help pull yourself up in the truck in the side. The top visor's a little different, and the truck comes in red, which is a better choice than green, I suppose. Other than that, basically the same truck. so into the interior the mirrors again same mirrors there's no change there's no difference the interior of the truck is a little bit different I believe it's a lighter gray rather than darker uh, black color uh, it's not a bad pattern it actually looks okay but uh, you know if you look over at the door and there is a nice little touch there if you look over at the passenger door you look under the window under the the armrest you'll see the Scania uh, Griffin with the crown um, in the door there and that's a nice little touch what's right there so the truck itself uh, as you can see it's just basically the same thing the interior is different a little bit and I can't hear squat so I got it turned way down so I'd rather shut the engine off again and start it back up I think that's a bit of a different unique sound than the, than the Scania so it does sound a little different I think but the dashboard's pretty much the same uh, wipers you know there's your uh, fuel efficiency cruise control temperatures I believe that's your air bar and how much fuel and speed you how much fuel you have left speed you're going so not much to say about it it's kind of the same thing so with that being said let's just uh, find something to tow uh, 21 tons at 352 is actually really good another 21 tons at 414 and then finally 28 tons at 448 448 uh, 28 tons is something I'd love to do but again I want to keep it around the same uh, distance um, not the same distance but around the same weight now I would go with this but I don't want to deal with a rush delivery thing again uh, this is like super important this is important so I don't know, 414 or 352 that's only about 50 62 miles 62 kilometers difference between the two I don't know. Screw it. We'll go with the urgent. 
Oh yeah, and again, as uh, always, no in game, no in dash. I think that's actually about the same sound. As I say, as always, there's no in game um, dash. Uh, no, in I keep saying in game, and then I say dash, and it screwed me up. There's no in dash uh, satnav for you to use. So now, if you don't use the floating mirror like me, pop that real quick. I will say again that Scania. One real good positive about it is the front mirror. Without even turning your head too much, you know, you can even keep a straight view. And it's it's right there. You know, it's very usable, which is really nice. It's not uh, way over the um, side of the truck. Uh, way over in the corner where you have to turn to see. Um, it, you know, it's right there. Easy to see and everything. So that's really cool. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons I tend to... Oh, shoot, I didn't realize I'm tired. <laughs> Hello. I need a rest point. Fortunately, there's one right back there. I can't see where I'm going. It's a good thing I don't have to. Yeah, I didn't realize I was still tired. If turning is going to be an issue, I'm not going to wait. I don't know why you're all sitting there having a hard time anyways. I don't believe in starting a run while you still have... Uh... Oh, hell, I just rest right here. Uh, we're not going to be able to take the same trailer because um, I don't want to do a nighttime. There we go. All right. No, not quick job. Goofus. Uh, job market. I apologize. I only just got up a little while ago. Twenty tons of logs. A forty-five ton train. Ugh. All right, so it's a little bit further than I was hoping for, 477 kilometers, but we're going to run within anyways. Um, I really feel that 200 kilometers... Well, you know what? I'll just be honest. As I was saying, this is probably going to be a short vid because basically we're dealing with the same truck. So why am I going to waste time talking about the same thing? Yes, yes. So we'll take the 20 tons of logs. Um, again, it's basically the same thing. You know, it keeps the weight right in the mid ground of what we towed at 20 tons. Oh, yeah, I'll need my lights. We're not turning either. I literally just got up a little while ago. Um, interesting little thing that happened today. I uh, got woken up this morning by Sandwich Isles Communication, who are my um, internet provider, as I told you earlier. And in the one thing, this is kind of cool, and another thing, it's kind of bothersome. They were monitoring... Now, this is actually something I, I'm curious about. They said they were, mo they were monitoring my um, my network and they said they noticed that I was having uh, latency issues and I didn't think about anything at first I was like um, well I've been okay I haven't had any real problems I said occasionally here and there I have but for the most part 
I've been all right. He said, well, no, we've been monitoring it, and we would like our person to come and check it. So they have some, they had sent someone over to check, and apparently the problem is between the outside uh, connection and the modem itself. So it's somewhere along the, uh, the line there. Um, which, you know, fine. They said they're going to send me a modular wire uh, for the modem, which is a special wire. To, you know, they're seeing if the connection's maybe to do with the wire, the phone jack, or something of that nature. And, um... Over here again, huh? Well, not only is this the same run, but it's in the same area. Um, but while they were talking to me, they said, well, you know what? You have two phone lines, yeah? I said, well, yeah. So you guys wouldn't install anything different. It's actually rather weird. When you um, sign up and get with uh, Sandwich Isles Communication, you don't have a choice in the matter. You get two phone lines installed. That's it. Which I found really strange. But again, I'm not paying that much. So fine. Go ahead. Put in two phone lines. So the two phone lines are right next to each other in my room. And... Um, They said, well, <clears throat> one thing we can do for you, because when you have DSL, uh, what, what you usually do, and anyone who has DSL knows this, is you have to have a filter on your um, phone. And this prevents your phone and your internet from messing up uh, each other, yeah? It prevents them from interfering with each other because it can screw with the connection for the internet. Well, they said you have a second phone line. Thank you. What we can do for you is we can move your DSL connection to your uh, other phone line. That way it'll be dedicated to DSL because you don't have a phone on it. And then you can have your DSL on that line and then you can have your phone on another line and you don't need a filter. And I just kind of sat there and went, really? I could have had this all this time. My line completely separate, dedicated. Um... I could have a line completely separate, dedicated for my DSL, separate from my phone, and you're just doing this for me now? You couldn't do this when you put it in? So, yeah, that's how it is, and, um, you know, my, my DSL is now on one line, and my, um, Pardon me. My DSL is on one line and my uh, phone is on the other line. I'm not going to be talking a lot about the truck because, again, we're pretty much dealing with the same thing. Um, it seems to have a little bit better low down grunt pull than the Scania R, uh, R does, and that's uh, pretty impressive. Because uh, it, it pulled that hill towing a heavier trailer than the Scania R did. And it continued to accelerate where the Scania R tended to suffer. So, that's not too bad. Sorry. Hmm. 
again, I apologize. Um, my, my throat feels a little rough right now, and I'm not exactly sure why. So... Anyways... It does seem to have a bit bet better pulling power, which I don't know why. Same transmission, same engine, but it seems to pull a little bit better. Whoa, dude. Why'd you slow down all of a sudden? Speaking of my internet, though, I know that I, I, you know, I bitched about it here some, but I try and look at the the uh, the flip side. You know, I'm looking at, you know, when I play Eve, I mostly play actually in an Australian time zone because I live in Hawaii. So I play with a lot of uh, Aussie players and a few European players. And the truth is, is that the guys in um, Australia, they tend to have it, um, you know, pretty rough in terms of bandwidth and reliability, you know. The one, one major reason I went with uh, Sandwich Isles was reliability, you know. Sandwich Isles uh, doesn't DC very often. The, the connection's fairly stable if the quality of the connection's really not that great. But that's not their fault, you know, it's just how where I am is wired. tends to lack that pulling power in the upper gears. I think I can do without the lights now. I didn't pull that hill too bad. Nice deep rumble on it. Yeah, I actually forgot to turn down the I wanted to turn down the graphics a little bit more and I forgot to. But it's okay. Yeah, so this is gonna be a short vid because again, if you want to know what the Scania stream like is in more detail, just go watch my Scania R video. It's about the same thing. That's how I feel about this truck, and again, that's why I feel like it never really caught popular, uh, never caught on in popularity versus the Scania R. Speeding ticket? Not this time. You know, it looked a little different, you know, it had a little bit different look, but it really wasn't a big change from um, the way that it you know normally looked the, the Scania R look and again you're dealing with the same motor uh, the same transmission same interior except you know maybe, maybe a little bit different color and that's it It's not like, and I'm going to talk ahead a little bit about um, our next trucks, the Volvo. Uh, the Volvos were different in that, although I believe that the engine and transmission are the same, the, uh, the, new, the newer Volvo, the big one, as everyone calls it, 
or at least some people call it. Uh, the big Volvo. Um, it was a very impressive visual change to start with, yeah. It looked a lot different than the older Volvo. And the interior, the mirrors and everything was different. So even though you had the same engine, even though you had the same transmission, you had very, very different appearances. You know, different interior, different exterior. So that's like why a lot of people went to it. You know, the Aveco Stralis looked a bit different and it was better than the base um, Stralis. Same with the Mercedes, same with the DAF. And now here we are with the Scania and you have the same truck. Dude, I need to move over. Don't you dare start speeding up on me. You know, the one major difference... Oh, that's pretty cool, the reflections. Although I found it interesting, it just reflected the truck in front and not the truck behind. But, um... I forget a little bit of what I was saying, but, you know, that's just how it is. Scania was the same truck when it came out. It just looked different. Whereas every other truck, even if it was the same truck mechanically, at least visually was a great improvement. And you know, why are you going to change from the most popular truck in the game with all of the mods that it has and all of the mods that are supported for it for another truck that's basically the exact same thing of what you have but doesn't have the mods? So in that sense, I kind of feel like Scania drivers get screwed in terms of the new truck put into the game. Yeah? That's how I feel about it. When it came to getting a new truck put in the game, man, Mercedes got a huge, a massive, 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 massive leap um, in terms of the quality of the truck that you can get. When it came to DAF, huge leap forward in the quality of truck uh, that you can have. When it came to, again, Iveco and uh, Volvo, it wasn't a massive jump forward, but it was an improvement, at least visually, and in terms of the Stralis, uh, the Stralis was not a big, uh, you know, not, I keep calling it the, the Stralis, but it's the Iveco Highway. In terms of the highway, um, in terms of the highway versus the Stralis, the highway wasn't a beginner truck anyways. You can't buy the highway until I think about level 10, much like the Renault Magnum. But it still is, you know, an improvement uh, visually over the Stralis as far as I can tell. I know that I'm going over this a lot, but... You know, that's just how I feel about it. You know, visually, it was an improvement. and Volvo was a big visual improvement over the old Volvo. And then Scania comes out, and it's Scania. It's the same truck. It just looks a little different. Even the interior is pretty close to the same, if not exactly the same. Seriously, guys? One thing this game uh, simulates uh, really well... <coughs> you know... <coughs> excuse me, I actually swallowed wrong there. One thing this game actually simulates very well... Versus... Um, other simulators is traffic lights. They're always inconvenient. When you're in a rush, you're going to hit every red traffic light there is. Not that I'm in a rush, but still. Oh, I am supposed to be on this side. See? Yellow. I don't care. Going through.
Looks like an interesting trailer, doesn't it? Wow, we are way off. It's alright. I should be able to get it. If I don't oversteer it. Should be good enough. Yep, there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Alright, show results. So, there's not a lot to say in the wrap-up of this. I mean, it's the Scania R. It just looks different. You get a side skirt. You get a, a slightly different front-end look. Uh, you get a different visor. And that's it. You know, so where does it rank? Um, personally, I would actually rank it in front of the Scania R. Now, why would I do that if it's the same truck as the Scania R? Well, because it looks better. I think red is a better color. Um, I think that it looks slicker, smoother, you know, with the side skirts. I think that the visor on it, uh, the different visor actually looks good on it. And that's just how I feel about it, you know? It looks better, and that's the only reason I'd rank it in front of the Scania uh, R. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's tied, of course. You know, if it was green and didn't come with the side skirts and didn't come with the painted red visor in the top here, I'd rank it exactly the same. You know, it'd be tied with Scania for, um, would it be fourth place? Yeah, I believe it's fourth place. But I rank it ahead of the Scania because it has the side skirts, because it has the different wheel wells, because it has a different visor, because it's red. That's it. It's just a visual improvement, which is kind of sad. You know, it is really, it is, it is really sad. You know, like I said, I feel that Scania fans in the game kind of got shafted when it came to a new truck, because what they got was a Scania R with uh, racing stripes, more or less. So that's going to be me done for this uh, episode, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've been enjoying bringing it to you. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. My uh, Twitter and Facebook will be linked below uh, if you want to follow me there. Other than that, this is going to be one big bugger. I'm going to be signing out, and I will see you next time.